Today we're going to talk about an issue that just recently came up. Yeah. It wasn't designed to impact RVers, but it's going to. Absolutely. So we're going to talk about yeah. the ban hmm. that one state has placed on the sales of small generators, which doesn't seem like a big deal now, but it could snowball. Oh yeah. So it we're, going to, we're going to talk about all the impact that it could have mm -hmm. on RVing in that state and potentially other states in the future. Yeah. As if you didn't need another reason to hate California. You certainly don't <laughs> need another reason. <laughs> California has now banned the sale of small gasoline operated generators. Yeah. To include those that are mounted on RVs. Mm -hmm. Now, it's it's just the gas operated. So yeah. propane is still okay. Diesel is still okay. But most generators that RVers use are gas operated. Yeah. Now, the reason that California did this, they were targeting the landscaping industry. Oh, yeah. So they're really targeting like mowers, weed eaters, leaf blowers, blowers and now these small gas operated generators, which kind of got lumped into it's, that, which yeah. is impacting RVers for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, you can still use these generators. Yes. You just can't purchase them in California anymore. Correct. Now, they're trying to change that too. They're saying by 2024, yeah, they're gonna do away with the use of them. So it's like a, a tiered effect. Yeah, it's gonna be over, I think to what, 2028 or something? Yeah, something like that. But anyway, what we're really concerned about is, is this going to spread to other states? Are other states gonna see this and go, that's a great idea? Let's do that too. Yeah. And eventually, are we going to get to a point where you cannot use your generator? Yeah. With your RV, which is an issue if you are a dry camper. It's an issue if you have power outages. Yeah. Um, it just can run into a lot of problems for yeah, RVers. Yeah, And even though they didn't intend for it to impact RVers, I think it's going to. Yeah. Oh yeah, it will inadvertently take us down. <laughs> yeah. Luckily for us. Um, even if they said you can't use a gasoline operated generator effective today, yeah, we would still be okay because I insisted on a <laughs> dual fuel generator. Exactly. So we have the Champion dual fuel, which runs off gasoline or propane. Yeah. So and there's no plans to go after propane operated generators or Not diesel yet. operated generators. Yeah. So those generators are still going to be okay. Uh, so we would just run ours off of propane, which we choose to do anyway. Yeah, not just because it's more clean burning, but we don't want to carry gas on board. Correct. So I think that you're probably, especially in California, and if other states adopt this, you're going to start seeing generators uh, that are just propane operated. Yeah. Because I don't think, because of the gas ban, I don't think they can even sell the dual fuels because it has a gasoline Cause option. option. So, so yeah. you're going to see ones that sure. just operate off propane. Mm -hmm. Now. And what's that going to cost? It's going to be expensive. <laughs> And the alternative to not having a generator is solar or staying everywhere that has hookups. Yeah. Solar is expensive. Solar is You expensive. talk about the panels, then you talk about the batteries, and then the labor to install it. And you, if you trade your RV, you either have to transfer it to a new RV or you have you to take a hit. Start You're not going to get your money back on that investment. Yeah. So it, it really is an impact. It, it is. Yeah. Like I said, we use the Champion Dual Fuel. So we'll leave a link in the description uh, of this video if you want to go look at, at that at that generator. Um, there's a few things that I don't think whoever came up with this law or bill or whatever. There's some things that they didn't really think through. I think. Uh, or they just don't care. Well, a I don't think they even considered RVers. No, they probably weren't in their sights at all. Because they were just going after these, you know, uh, landscaping businesses and yeah and small construction. Uh, sites, Site, yeah. people who are using the uh, the generators out there at the construction sites, because it really is a um, an issue with pollution and stuff yeah. like that. I get that. It, it is yes, it's everything is a le valid reason to want to make changes, but you have to have a well thought out plan and yeah. the ripple effect of of the plan. So here's a couple of things I did, I think that they didn't think through. So they didn't think through the RV thing. 
Mm-hmm. And a lot of the revenue in California comes from tourism. Yeah. A lot of the tourism is RVers. So I don't think you're going to see that as big of an impact in the next couple of years because you can go to any other state and buy, an, buy a generator. And you yes. can still run it in California. So I don't think you're going to see that hit until California says you can't even run one, run one. in this state. Yeah. When you can't run one in this state then anymore, RVers are going to stop coming to that state as much. Be like, I wouldn't say they would stop completely. No. But it's it a deterrent. It will be a bigger deterrent. Especially for those of you who like to dry camp, boondock, who don't have solar or can't afford solar, you only have your generator, you're just not going to come to California. Yeah, there, there's no incentive to come. And so there's going to be a loss of tourism revenue for California in that aspect, I believe. Um, the other thing is, you know, they're pushing this power, electric, uh, yeah. battery stuff. Yeah. But we don't have the infrastructure. California definitely don't have the infrastructure to support <laughs> going fully electric. So I want you to stop using your generator and start using electric lawnmowers and weed eaters and leaf blowers and, and, cars. and cars and all this stuff. But we don't have the power grids for everybody to plug all their stuff in. So we're going to roll black, black out you constantly. Yes. You can't charge any of that stuff during exactly. that time. And a lot of the RV parks that we went to in California had signs that said, you cannot plug in your yes, car that was first. here. Yeah. So I don't know how that's going to be if but, you... Well, pedestals, I don't think, can are, support it. are supportive enough yet. Everybody would have to upgrade. Yeah. I think the next thing you're going to see is you're going to see it really doesn't impact RVers. Well, it might because you're going to see an increase in cost of landscaping. Oh, yeah. Cost of construction. Well, yeah, because they're going to pass it to the consumer. They're not going to take a hit. And so when the cost of construction goes up and people are trying to build or upgrade their RV parks. Yes. It's going to cost them more. Mm-hmm. It's going to cost you more to stay there. Yes. And uh, these parks have to upkeep their, their landscaping. Yeah. They have to pay a contractor to come out and... It's going to cost them Mow more. the grass, so. trim the bushes, all that stuff. And all these people had to buy new stuff yep. because they can't run their gas-powered stuff anymore. Yep. And you get to pay more to stay at the RV park because the RV park gets to pay more for the landscaping company to come do the work. Yes. Now, that's just everybody. I mean, that's how it's going to impact the RVers. Beers. But everybody in California is going to be impacted that way. Yeah. So what are they going to do? They're going to raise taxes oh, to no. cover the cost. <laughs> for construction and stuff like that because it costs more. Yes. As if as California if, doesn't have enough taxes. I know. We need more taxes in California. <laughs> <laughs> and then, more. you know, another thing they didn't really think about is, you know, all of these these companies that build these, yeah. um, they're going to lose some, some jobs too. Well, yeah, because the little guys, these little companies can't afford to, either they'll start doing it themselves yeah. If it's not that much of a project. But yeah, they're not going to be able to afford... Small businesses can't afford this kind of change. Yeah, so it's it's unfortunate. It I does. really, really am hoping that this doesn't spread. I, I hope... And take other, on. I know other states will, whether it's more West Coast first before it ever makes it to East Coast people. Yeah. But it will be a shame if it... Without the supporting features in place already to, to support yeah. the power problem i don't see why we're doing it yet yeah we will we'll keep an eye on it um we'll be looking in the news and articles to see if anything if anybody else has got to go hey we should do what california is doing and because i think if it spreads too too far if a lot of states start doing this it's going to have a large impact on the rv community because uh-huh. then um you know man if it's if it's illegal in certain states where rvs are manufactured they can't even put on board generators can't can't even make it an option on rvs Unless anymore because because they're not allowed to sell them so these these big um onins that are already on the rvs they'll either have to go to propane or diesel or they just can't have a, a generator on board yeah which is just crazy yeah uh, that's scary. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. Leave us your comments. Let us know what you think about this uh, state that has maybe... <laughs> state, st- you won't even say its name. That maybe has started <laughs> started something that don't need starting. California's <laughs> picking a fight. <laughs> this is what you're saying. You don't pick a fight with a bunch of RVers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let us know what you think. Um, 
there's our thoughts on it pretty much is we don't really like it. It's scary. I would like it if the plan of power solution was already in place. If they had the infrastructure to support it, I'm on board, man. But it seems like we're starting backwards. Yeah. Like, you we're not starting with the number one problem, which is energy. Mm -hmm. Work that, then ripple out that way instead we're rolling it out the wrong direction yeah and it'll take forever to build that ass back big enough to where you need it so you know by that time you are majorly inconvenienced and majorly taxed and it's just crazy yeah it's scary anyway, let us know what you think uh stick around for a couple seconds we're going to honor a fallen hero uh if you want to get involved with helping us help vets everything you need to know is down in the description of the video appreciate you watching and we will see you next time bye, bye.